this bowl of water. Maybe I'll put my squishy basketball in. Ooh, that's floating. What about my marble? This is going to be so much fun because they'll float too, right? Huh? Why did they sink? Why do some objects sink and some objects float? Well, that's the topic I'm going to be telling you today. So as you saw when I was playing, my marble sank, but my squishy basketball was on top. But why does that happen? Some objects sink and some objects float. Well, I'm going to do a little experiment to make sure you understand. So I'm going to put uh, objects in here. So let's start with my squishy basketball. That floats. Now let's do my sponge. That floats as well. What about my marbles? Those sank. What about my treasure chest with coins inside? Let's put it in. That sank as well. So as you could see, there are some objects on this bottom of the water that actually sank and some objects on the top of the water on the surface that actually floated so all right so we understand well um let's take an example like a boat so if you ever seen a boat before you would see that like there's a little layer on the bottom of the boat and that little layer is actually filled up with air and the boat is pretty heavy but there's a lot of water force coming upwards and the boat can't push its way down because there's too much force coming upwards from the water so the boat will float and you might have heard in cartoons tv shows movies whatever Boats sink, and boats sink even when they have the tiniest hole, water enters, and then that makes the boat way more heavier and makes it sink. So if you ever see a boat with even a little hole, fix it before you sail it, so that you don't drown. And to do, we are going to do another experiment to see how the boat actually floats and sinks so here i have my treasure chest and it's empty and i'm gonna close it and there's gonna be air in it so i'm gonna put it in the water and let's see if it floats or sinks see it's floating just like a real boat would but now let's pretend uh that there's a hole and this is a boat and we are gonna fill it up with water and close the treasure chest. Now it's full with water, just like the bottom of the boat would. Now let's pop it in and see what happens. It did sink. So that's how a real boat would sink as well. And there's also this principle in science that's called Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle is basically a principle where like if there's a bowl full of water and you put an object into it then water spills out right the water spilled out weighs the same as the object that's pretty cool but we are just gonna do one last experiment for that so now i'm gonna put this watermelon into this big bowl of water and water's gonna spill out Whoa, that's so cool. And all the water that spilled out weighs the same as the watermelon. OMG, that was incredibly awesome. And I still can't believe that the watermelon and the water weigh the same. And I even measured that earlier and they both actually weigh the same. That's so cool. And what I understood from all these experiments is that if the object mass is lighter than the water mass, then the object floats. Or if the object mass is the same as the water mass, then it floats. But if the object mass is heavier than the 
water moss, then it sinks. And that's pretty cool. And I learned a lot of new things from this video. Hopefully you did too. And if you learned something from this video and enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos and click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button to see when I post a new video. Goodbye for now.